Hello there, kids, and as I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were, uh, well, we were still at Black Mountain, running around the area, because, well, I mean, might as well, since we've completed all the missions we really had here. Uh, I think we went into the storage building already, so we're just, at this point, going to mill around seeing where we can go until I go into the big satellite building, which is right over there, so, I mean, I'll eventually make my way to it. Once I can open this fucking thing! God damn it. Chair's squeaking too. It's not a good, it's not a good day for me. I had to go out and get my coffee because I didn't have any. I didn't think about it before I started my fucking day. It was great. That was wonderful. It was such a good time. Okay. I should stop bitching now. And just get to the game, which we are doing now. I guess there's like a little fenced-in area over there that after I get into the uh, broadcast building, I can get to. Wait, first floor? There's a second floor? All right, here we are in the broadcast building. Where I assume Tabitha would be sitting. Could we just turn that off? Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, it is loud in here. <laughs> just with all the gizmos and what's-its. Oh, well, it's a terminal. Let's get into this, see what we can find out. Clever. Okay. Father! Hey! There we are. And what do we got? Marcus made me type this. Oh. The leader of this community, Marcus, said I should start keeping a journal to get my mind off of Rhonda. He also said I might find something interesting inside the stupid old building. What could possibly be interesting here? The only thing that works in here is this junky old terminal. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be Thing, but okay. It's a radio station. It's amazing. This place is a radio station. If we can get it repaired, we can broadcast music across the wastes, just like Rhonda and I used to listen to. Ah, Rhonda, how I wish you hadn't gone away. I asked all the mutants here for help, but none of them could do anything for you, which makes me doubt they can fix this place. That's fair. That's fair, considering. Then again, some of them just don't probably know the technical know-how for robots. That's entirely possible. It's entirely possible this place needed elbow grease, and that needed a little more fine-tuned finger work that mutants with their big hands wouldn't be able to do. Probably. I'm assuming. Anyway, on the air! The radio station is fixed, and we've begun sending our message out into the desert. Marcus thinks I spend too much time in here, but what does a first-gen know? Rhonda says they're just one step up from dum-dums, and I agree. Um, the first gens were the smartest, so, um, he knows more than you, I'd assume? Because mainly the first gens were the purest form of the, uh, of the super mutants, because they were coming from unmutated DNA, if I'm remembering my lore correctly, which I could be wrong. I fully admit I could be wrong. <laughs> the Elite. There was a fight in the yard today between some of us and the first gens. Marcus made a speech about how we need to work together, but why should we? We were the Master's favorites. We don't need their help. Rhonda says we'd be better off without them. Again, you're assuming Rhonda's saying something when she wasn't really working. I say she. That was the name on the robot. I guess. Mm. Ah, that's weird. Anyway. Alone at last. Marcus and the others left today. Finally, we have the whole place to ourselves. No more listening to lectures about what we can and can't say on the air. The airwaves will be free. Now Rhonda and I can host our own radio show like we've always pl been planning. Ugh, I can't talk anymore either. 
I don't know why Marcus always refused to let us do it before. He always started getting real nervous when I told him what Rhonda thought about things. Rhonda says he was afraid she was too smart to control. Or maybe he was afraid you were taking a voice you were hearing in your head because Rhonda was deactivated and was assuming it was Rhonda. That might have been the clue that he was starting to get nervous. Because you were starting to have a bit of a problem there. It's just me who thought that? No? No. Uh, oh well. Anyway, this is the start of a new era. The only downside is most of the dum-dums chose to stay. Well, I mean, probably to make sure you don't fuck things up further. Probably. I assume that was that one guy who was talking to us rather normally before. I assume. I don't know, but I assume. Safe. I finally got Raul to finish installing the security measures on my door. Now I can have all the privacy I want. Just in case I have a dum-dum moment, I've placed the spare key under the stairs behind my building. No one ever goes back there, so it should be safe from discovery. Was there a way to get under those stairs that I just didn't see? I mean, maybe. Hmm. Great news! A ghoul entered our camp today who has experienced fixing machines. He seems to really like it here, so I hope he can stay long enough to fix Rhonda. Weird, Rhonda just asked me why she sh would need fixing. She has a point. What was I thinking? Now she's starting to realize there, at least, that uh, the voice in her head was not actually Rhonda. It was just a voice in her head. It's her subconscious, or perhaps something else. Uh taking the form of it, because that was the only thing that her brain was thinking. Wow, why is... Why am I getting messages there? Okay, give me a moment. <laughs> that was an artist getting back to me on me trying to get them to make art for me, which I had been trying to get them to do while... pelting money at them, essentially, through my screen for weeks and months. Anyway... <laughs> I'm assuming the safe and the uh, lucky was kind of in the wrong order there. Also, it, it sounds like she is starting to understand that uh, that the voice in her head isn't really Rhonda. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe she's just rolling with it because that's the only way her mind can really comprehend what's going on. Hard to tell. And I'm not a trained psychologist, nor do I want to suggest I am. I just have a psych book from high school that I periodically read through now and then. I don't know a good portion of what I'm talking about. I'm just assuming through leaps of logic what I could be actually seeing and understanding. Anyway, pfft, fuck it. I'm going to get off that topic. I'm going to go to this. Secrets. Not it. Fuck. Okay. Sending? No. Okay. Maybe it's... Maybe it's the S, but it's not any of the other letters. No. Fuck me. Alright. Well, I was wrong on that. See? What, uh, what was I talking about? Lump... <laughs> leaps of logic. Lumps of logic? Fuck me. I can't fucking talk either. Brilliance is not my forte. Uh, damn it. That's the only one I could see. It didn't end up being the thing I needed. Uh, maybe this? Nope. Fuck this? Nope. Fuck. Cock a mamie diggery do balls. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't find anything else. Alright. It probably has the same entries as the other terminal. Maybe. It might. It might not. I don't know. I'm just assuming. That's what I do best. But it also makes an ass out of you and me. Mainly me. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. Mounted? No, that can't be right. That doesn't have two in common with lowdown. 
Hello, Kaden? Hey! That worked. Alright. Bunch of different logs. Okay. Log 672. We've been picking up a lot of activity from China's satellite network. Oh, so this is... This is the actual pre-war stuff. Okay. All right. All right. The tension is pretty high around here. Frank's been talking about securing a place in one of those vaults for himself and his family. And when he didn't show up for work yesterday, I think we all knew where he went. Who can blame ya? Honestly. Oh my god. It's actually happening. We have readings across the board of launches ev happening everywhere. They must have thrown everything they had, and it looks like we didn't hold back either. The computer says we have two minutes until the first missile drops. I can barely type. The mountain shielded us from the worst of the blast, but there's too much radiation. Okay. Wow, I can't believe these old machines still work. This place looks pretty defensible, and the radiation should keep the majority of people away. Looks like we've found a home, at least for now. First things first, though, we've got to get rid of these corpses out of here, poor bastards. Um, I guess they move the bodies entirely. Because there's no corpse of uh, whoever was typing the last entry here. Unfortunate. That terminal's turned off. And Nuka-Cola fridge is empty. Alright. And there's the door. Um, yeah, the key is right over here. Tabitha's, Tabitha's room key. I assume... Ow! Ow! The key goes up to here. This is where Tabitha's room would be. Ow. Oh. And there's a bunch of... Oh. Oh. Repair note number three? Is there a bunch of repair notes? Did I just miss a whole bunch of repair notes and I didn't even know that they were a thing? Is that entirely what I did? Sheet music book. Hmm. I don't know why I grabbed that. But it was grabbable. So it's probably useful for something. All right. Let's take this repair note. And of course it doesn't tell me directly what it was. That's fair. Um, maybe it's in notes. Here. There it is. Raul. Rhonda made me angry, so I threw this. Now it doesn't seem to work. Please fix. Huh. Don't know, uh... Don't know what it was. Alright. Well, I guess that's how that goes. And we're done. I think we're as done with Black Mountain as we could possibly get. Hmm. Is, uh... That Super Mutant still over here? It looks like it. Neil. Good work, human. Maybe now this place can rest in peace. Here's hoping. What will you do now? I still have a job to do here. Some mutants may have heard Tabitha's broadcast and are headed here even as we speak. That is fair. I'll remain and direct anyone who show up toward Jacobstown, where they'll be much better off. That is fair. There's nothing here for you, human. Though it is always good to see you. That is good to hear. Also... You seem like a first gen, like I thought. Why do you do the harness to keep the lip up? I mean, Marcus doesn't do it. Then again, Marcus probably doesn't feel the need to. Maybe it's easier on some of the. Uh, maybe it's easier on some of the older ones, and uh, for others, it's just like a force of habit. I don't know. I'm assuming. I'm assuming a lot at this point. That's kind of what I do best. 
That's very much what I do best. Uh, that's Rhonda and Tabitha. Oh, so they're just leaving. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I just wanted to make sure. There's a lot of radiation. I should probably get the fuck out of here. Like, faster than what I've been doing. Jesus. I have so much radiation now. There we go. Perfect. Ish. Um. Go to status. Rad. Away. Yeah, that should be good. Just to get rid of that radiation for now. And I think... I think we can call that crossed off the list. Plus, I can go back to the Brotherhood and tell them, Hey, I did a thing. I did a good thing. I sight to the blind. Uh, did I not do that? Son of a bitch! <laughs> I am an asshole. Okay. Let's go all the way back. Okay, I can just do it from here. Red X. Hop it. Run all the way back. Yes, right away worn off. Oh well. That was to be expected. Oh, that's Raul. <laughs> I guess I, uh, I guess I got a little too far ahead of them. That was my bad. Oopsie doopsie. What the? What were you talking about? What were you saying? I can't believe we were allowed inside the Lucky 38. That place has been a legend since before the war. Yeah. Yeah, it has been, actually. Sure, boss. God, it's great to have Danny Trejo with me. It's great. It's fucking awesome. Although I wish he would stop calling me boss. I don't think I've earned that title around Danny Trejo. <laughs> if anything, I should be calling him boss. <laughs> if anything, honestly. All right. Let's just get up to where I was supposed to go. Attach the communicator to the console like I should have, but I'm an idiot, so I didn't do that. And uh, then we can call this a completed quest mission thing. I'm a bobber. Okay, I'm gonna grab my coffee while I walk him up. There we are. And I guess I was supposed to go into the main transmitter building to do that. Okay, that's fair. My goofy ass uh, didn't do that. Oh, not here. Okay. Maybe I was supposed to go up into Tabitha's room. Is that one? Is that what it's telling me right now? Maybe. Yeah, it seems to be. Okay. Alright. Second floor. Tabitha's room. And... Ah! Install the transmitter. You quickly install the device as directed. Immediately, a small green light on it begins pulsing, indicating that it has begun transmitting. Nice! Report to McNamara that the device has been installed. Woo! Good shit. Alright. Um... Yeah, let's just... Yeah, let's just teleport there. Why not? Why not? Eh? Yeah. Makes it a little easier. Oh boy. <laughs> Fuck it. Do that to me and then disappear it. Whoa, what the? Jeez. Fucking game is goofing up on me. That can't be the right one. Son of a bitch. Every time. Every time I come back. It's got to be this one. So I started over here. It's got to be this one. Please let it be this one. Every time. Every time. Why? Why would they make it? Three different entrances. Four different entrances. Entrances. Blah, blah, blah. Multiple entrances that I can always get lost in. Alright. 
especially when they do that fucking storm. Blur. Pisses me off. All right. Raul's with me, and if you shoot him, I shoot you. Hard in the face. I will find a way to make the bullet go harder into your face. Okay, this wasn't the right way. Son of a bitch. Alright. Every time. Every time. I do it every single fucking time. Because I am a dumb. Alright. And... Here we are. Good. Hey there. Greetings, my friend. Hello. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. Well, me too. Uh, I installed the device up at Black Mountain, as instructed. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. I'm glad you did. Now then. My help. It is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood. Hey. For meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. Thank you. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. Maybe. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. Ooh. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Ooh. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? A little. A little. Don't I just put it on? If only it were that simple. Think of power armor as a machine to be operated, rather than clothing you'd wear. Mm -hmm. With a little instruction, using it becomes as natural as simple movement. But to the ignorant, it's just so much heavy junk. So let's bring you up to speed, shall we? Please do. First, let's go over how to put it on. And this is the stuff that kind of gets skipped over. There. Whoa, okay. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. Nice. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you. Not just the more mundane arms. Well, thank you for that. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. I'm staring at the back. Of You've done so much for Raul's us that head. to do otherwise would be a crime. <laughs> I just okay. ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. Of course. Of course I will. Oh, jeez. I'm overburdened with the power armor, aren't I? Let me guess. It's over here, and... Yeah. Yeah, I am. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, well... That's kind of funny that the... <laughs> that the power armor itself is considered heavy. But the uh, helmet itself is considered light. That's goofy to me. I like it. But at the same time, I don't, because I don't want to wear it. Okay. Uh. There we go. Cool. Alrighty. <laughs> it was goofy that I ended up staring at the back of Raul's head the entire fucking time. Ah. Uh, oh, that's goofy. Okay. Um. <laughs> give my headset a second. It's kind of losing its shit. There it goes. Alright. <laughs> okay, well, um, there we are. We've completed the quest. We are now part of the Brotherhood, technically. And, yeah, we know how to do power armor now. We're not going to use it, but we can do it. But, yeah, this was the uh, way to get around the limitations of the engine, I assume, which is why in Fallout 4 the mechanics of using the power armor is so different. Um, I honestly think that they kind of did a disservice having the fusion cores being as weak as they are. But, I mean, they kind of have to limit it somehow. This was the best way to make the power armor work in this engine. And as they modified the engine over time, uh, Fallout 4 was the next best thing where they could actually implement the proper the way, well, the proper way it would probably work, and, uh, 
still, I think that they could have done a better job of it, but, you know, it's neither here nor there. But, now I know how to do it. I'm not going to do it. But at least I can tell Yes Man that we're good with the Brotherhood. And then we can move on from there. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and... <laughs> helping out the Brotherhood and helping out Super Mutants at the same time, which is a weird combination to me. <laughs> but hey, we did it. We did it, and we did all of it for you.